Now I'm a great believer in poetry being for everyone and not just a select few. And I share the same beliefs about toilets. <laughs> I think toilets should be for everyone and not just a select few. <laughs> this poem is about two people who didn't share my beliefs in toilets and they probably don't share my beliefs in poetry as well. This is called Pointing Percy at the Porcelain. For a couple of toffs, I was lagging the loft, the size of a polo pitch, with thick fiberglass of a superior class. There wasn't a part of me that didn't niche. Now I had a full bladder, so climbed down the ladder, left the hatch open like the barn I was born in. <laughs> Desperate for a pee, though it wasn't through tea. I hadn't been offered a cup all morning. And right there I saw a note taped to the door saying, tradesmen use the toilet downstairs. In the natural light blinking, it got me thinking, is my your eye so different to this? <laughs> Ignoring the sign, I crossed over the line and entered the master bathroom. <laughs> it was expensively tiled, a shame to defile, full of potions, lotions, and perfume. So I pissed in the sink. <laughs> Gave the mirror a wink and was up to the loft like a thief. Back home that night as I turned out the light, I imagined them brushing their teeth. <laughs>